Alrighty then, let's come on down here to our presentation window. It is going to be a very special event here tonight. I'm going to go straight into the topics that we're going to be covering. Very important stuff here tonight. Professional Trader Gamer versus Algobox Hacker. Where are you in your trading journey? What to do when your results feel slack? What is trading soreness and how to overcome it? What are the trading day types? Planning and executing on hot days versus cold. Tending your trading like a business owner versus a nine to five or a restaurant owner and security guard mindset. This is a neat one right here. And of course, pushing, of course, pushing through to your 90 day light bulb moment. And wait for it. Don't forget. Father's Day offer. It is a huge, huge week for us. Again, I'm super excited about Father's Day stuff. I'm going to be sending you a 43-inch monitor. If you guys want one of those, hook it up in the Discord chat. We'll talk more about that at the very end of the video. But the first thing here on our list, I do want to talk about this very first one because I missed this earlier when I was uh, going through my list, is the Professional Trader Gamer versus Algobox. What are we doing here with Algobox? This crazy thing called Algobox. Why are we able to do what others cannot do? I want to take you back into the gaming world. If you are a gamer, a professional gamer who spends six to eight hours per day at their desk, um, getting into a game, becoming the top level on an eSports game. That professional is a very frustrated on one, well, there's a, a multiple things, but the most frustrating thing I think for a professional gamer is when they get wrecked by who? A hacker. Again, if you've ever been hit by a hacker, you know this is one of the most annoying things ever when you're getting hit. Uh, you know, nothing you can do about it. You're getting hit from across a map, through a wall, whatever. As a professional, you know, you're trained to do certain things, but you just get wrecked. Well, this is Algobox, folks. This is the hack. Why are we able to do what we do? We have headshots, we have wall hacks with Algobox. That is the difference. Again, a professional gamer may need to spend eight. You know, 10, 12 hours a day studying and doing and executing and executing and executing. And we can basically turn on Algobox and, you know, execute it on a very short window of time. And the 10 years, I'm sorry, the four years experience that it takes them to accumulate 10,000 hours of time takes us 120 days or six months full total to complete out a four year level of experience. And that is a huge difference in what we do and what they do. All right, um, I'm gonna hand it over to myself via a video recorded earlier. And um, yeah, let's do this. All right, so tonight I'm gonna to talk about some very important topics around some of the phases that you're gonna be going through as you are getting into your trading and from the, whether you're a beginner or you're in the middle of our program or you're a veteran, I think this is gonna be helpful to you in talking about your planning where you are, knowing where you are in your journey. We talk about this in the core videos, but I really feel like now is about the time to really re-hit on this and add some additional points that as I have mentored uh, students for a number of years now, I, I get the same things that are extremely helpful for people. So I'm just gonna dump, this, dump those to you here tonight. You guys saw the list, so let's get into some of those. So the first thing, if you are in the beginning of your journey let me turn this down just a little bit we're going to just watch some time-lapse videos here while we're while we're chatting here tonight because i'm really just going to talk to you like i have you on a phone conversation as one of my mentorship students so if you are coming into the beginning of our program you know that we divide our system into 40 day sections okay so in your first 40 days there's a certain level of expectation here you are literally learning the ropes you are learning the the textbook information you are learning the techniques you're learning the rules you're learning the tools you are learning the vocabulary of what we do okay now as you move into this phase this is where things start to break into zones and each different person um, we start to find where they advance and where they don't and i have found ways to kind of get you guys into good position so what we want to talk about is going into the middle 40 days right here okay so you everybody comes out here with um some knowledge this is my terrible attempt at drawing a brain okay so you've got your your knowledge and now we got to turn that into wisdom okay so knowledge in wisdom, the difference in, in between those two are wisdom is the application of the knowledge. So we need to apply that knowledge now in the middle, uh, in the final 40 days, okay? So we're gonna be executing on those trades. Now, you're gonna come to a point in here where you're gonna be watching our trade room and you guys have seen the numbers, right? We put up some pretty big numbers. And what I find is that as people, let me, pause that. Um, let me pull up our Discord room. If you are gonna be looking at the results here, I'm gonna show you guys um, tonight, just from our room, you'll kind of even understand this more as you see these you know, really great numbers from some of our members. Now, some of our members, we had a couple of um, folks with some red days here today. Today was a little bit of a tougher day. Um, but if you're scrolling through here and you're seeing these huge numbers that the members are putting up and you're sitting here you know, starting to execute and you're expecting that you're gonna be hitting huge numbers right off the bat and you're going, well, why am I not hitting those big numbers? What's wrong with me? Am I doing something wrong? Um, why am I not hitting $1,000? Again, Whiskers is a semi-new person, isn't even in our full training program yet. Um, here's Pip, who's been with me for a while. He's 100% profitable today, hitting $870. Let's scroll up. 
we got here's a thirty three hundred dollar day from Cohen. He's eighteen years old, right? And you're like, wait a minute, how? I mean, I'm not putting up those numbers. KC, one of our uh, veterans here in the room, forty five hundred today. But you're sitting here going, hmm, I'm I'm struggling. What's the deal? You're gonna have this moment. Here's what I have I've learned from actually uh, outside of um, outside of day trading. Someone was talking about training in working out, and this is a really intelligent thing. I've never heard a, a trainer say before, but they said that uh, you really need to tell a person who is brand new into working out. You come in super motivated. You're ready to go. You're ready to come in there and just set things on fire. And your first day, you crush the weights. You're in there and hitting it hard. You're doing it, doing it. But the problem is, is a trainer, a good trainer and a mentor now as myself needs to tell you something. Here's a key piece of information. There is going to come a moment of soreness. Are you ready for this? Soreness. What is soreness? Trading soreness. Well, in working out, days two and three are extremely painful. And oftentimes, a person who's working out on that first day, they start to feel their body and they're like, I'm not used to feeling this. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't like this. I don't. Maybe I'm not cut out for working out. My body hurts too much. And they quit. A lot of people quit at that moment. And that's unfortunate for them. Those who push through, of course, get to the end and will focus more on the training. But you guys can get the analogy for working out and knowing that. And But the people who expect the soreness, okay, push through it. Think about what I just said. If you expect the soreness, you can push through it, okay? So this is what I want you to take away with this on the soreness part. In trading in our room, you're gonna get to this moment where you're gonna be a little bit sore about the fact that you may or not, maybe aren't putting up the numbers that the people in the room are putting up. And again, I will tell you, this, there is a huge potential here in what we do, but it takes a little bit of time, okay? You gotta you got stay with it. You gotta get through the full 120 days, okay? A lot of people are tempted when, um, you know, a lot of things in life are microwaved now. You can get a lot of information in a lot of things. Um, very quickly and so you can start to hang up right here if you're like well i'm not getting it fast enough push through okay i want you to keep pushing through because you will get there um I will, i'm gonna do another interview with some more of the members in the crew if you guys go back and watch the casey interview that we did you know he said the same thing he came to a point where he struggled in here okay and maybe even in here in the final 40 days if you're struggling going like wait i'm not putting up those numbers what am, what am i doing wrong what's wrong listen push through you've got to go okay i need to tell you there is going to be soreness but there is a light and i want you to notice something when you get to the 90 day mark Okay? I want you to ask yourself something. I want you to remember that uh, that I had told you this. Okay, When you get right into this section, you finish this, at this point, you should be 80 days through, but around 90, 10 days past that, and you're starting to work in this final 40 days, which is where I really just start to push the mastery level stuff with you guys is right here in the end. But you've got to get there, and yes, you can't, don't be looking too far forward. Don't be going, well, uh, you know, you're skipping past the process. There, This is here focusing on the losers, and that is a big, big deal. You've got to be able to lose well, and I want you to push through that soreness and get to that final 40 days. It's extremely important to know. So just know that it's gonna happen, and watch what happens at the 90-day mark. There's this Eureka light light bulb moment where you're like, oh, and you just kind of get it, okay? I saw one of our members had kind of one of those light bulb moments a few days ago. Um, John uh, John Manigold put that into our room and had said, man, like, I wish I wouldn't have been so stubborn at the beginning and, you know, thinking that I had it early and that I'm a, you know, I'm a quick learner. And again, a lot of people are. I've got folks, you guys who come here to me, you're extremely intelligent people, right? You, you see past the trolling, you see past the idiocracy of the idiots online and the scammers who are trying to tell you to stay away from our system because they're jealous, all of that. You can see through it. So you come here, lots of super intelligent people, but the market is designed to wreck intelligent people. Okay, it is. The more that you learn, um, the more that you can be manipulated because that is how the algorithms are coded to take the money from the retailer and move it in their direction because they've got to accumulate size. Okay, well, you guys have heard me talk about that a lot. But let me get to our points here tonight. So pay, play through to the 90 days and see what happens when you get to that 90. And then again, as we have those phone calls, please make sure that you schedule those phone calls with me here at that these pivotal points here um, at the crossover between the 40 days. And I'm making a mess here, my little Crayola drawings, but you guys get the point is you should be getting a call here and right here with me to check in and make sure that you're on the right track, okay? Next part that I wanna talk about is um, market days, okay? So a lot of people believe that the markets are always moving all the time, 24 seven, and they always move, you know, they're all moving the same and all you need to do is find the right algorithm and then you are gonna be set. And they think that it's one single algorithm to rule them all, that one, strategy can you know succeed for forever that's not the case which is why algobox is here because it's a multi-strategy multi-time frame multi-confluence trading system and it's a cheat for the markets which we'll talk about cheats here at the end of this conversation we're using cheats versus professionals like we talked about as one of our bullet points here to cover tonight okay now the markets are shifting and moving we talk about this in the core videos so go through the core videos but i want to talk about um your thought process on days, types of days, okay? Remember, there are types of days. We talk about this in that core. I know I'm kind of keep saying that we talk about it because I want you to go and watch them. But at this point, I want you to ask yourself during this video, did you get it? Did you watch the core videos? Did it get inside of you to understand that every day when you sit down at your desk is not the same, okay? 
you need to think like a business person and I'm going to use a restaurant analogy. At a restaurant, when do they make all their money? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? What are their tough days of the week? For a restaurant, it's very easy for them to determine, right? Monday, Tuesday, their foot traffic is not high. In fact, if you'll notice, almost every restaurant around has like a Tuesday special, like kids eat free on Tuesdays, or uh, Monday, you know, kids eat, eat free, or some kind of a bonus incentive. Um, there's a taco place near us that's like $5 taco plates, huge taco plates on Tuesdays, and, you know, getting you to come in the door, and they make little name things that make you kind of, you know, think about think about them on that day, like Taco Tuesday, okay? So go get some tacos on Tuesday. Khalees come in and give us some foot traffic on Tuesdays. But they know that operationally, they may be losing money on Monday and Tuesday of the week, okay? So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and of course through the weekend, they're killing it. You in your trading, what, how does this apply to your trading? In there are volatile days and there are non-volatile days and they're going to you can't really necessarily schedule it now there are some things like a monday you can tend to expect that there's going to be a little bit of slowness but how many of you guys have seen like huge mondays like i've got um you know a list of certain days over here that uh, i call my 100k days if i'm going to go in if you need to do some practice um, i've got them on sheets like this because i'll sometimes jot them down and i need to come back and put them in my digital format so that's why these are still sitting over here but there were Mondays that were huge, huge movement days. So you can't just discount and say, okay, well, Monday's for trading or crap. No, that's not true. In fact, that sometimes Mondays are gonna be your hottest day of the week. Wednesdays are pretty hot all the time, right? We know there's a lot going on on Wednesdays. Why Wednesdays? Well, FOMC always lands on those Wednesdays, unless there are holidays on a Monday, of course, okay? But in general, you got FOMC events, you've got the Red Star News events in the morning on uh, payroll numbers, etc. Actually, those come mostly on, on Friday and Thursday. I'm sorry, um, but you've got, why well, am I going blank on these? So on Wednesdays, you got crude oil inventories. It's like, there's one that's like so consistent all the time. Um, and that carries into Thursday. Thursday is really mostly the most active day ever. Like this is the day that we expect. This is kind of like uh, for a restaurant, our Thursday is a restaurant's Friday and Saturday where they've just got massive foot traffic. Everybody wants to come to the restaurants and you know, you're going on dates, going on, um, you know, going out on the weekends. Those are huge days. And that's us on a Thursday in general, if you're trying to break up the week. However, there is seasonality that's beyond that. Things like earnings report weeks, two or three weeks in there during earnings report, it's gonna be huge volatility. We've got huge opportunities during those windows. Then we've got um, contract rollover, like right now, we're going through contract rollover and there is this huge shift that's going to occur. And we really don't care, we don't have to choose direction. We do that on the immediate time frames, but we just need the volatility, we just need it to move. We can pick the movement for and, and predict the next X number of bars on our lowest time frames. okay? So we um, we have these opportunities, you need to be thinking like that, think like a business and not like a nine to fiver, okay? The, the main point of this is don't be thinking nine to five. Sorry, I don't know if this is gonna go to the next video or not. Um, so nine to fivers think, okay, if I spend my time at my desk, I'm going to make X number of dollars. Now, why I want to focus on this is I've got some members in, in the room right now that are, you know, you've got this point where you kind of start to struggle a little bit. You're not making as much as you were. You had this really hot streak where you're absolutely just killing it. And then all of a sudden, like just literally one day for some reason really gets to people. Um, I have noticed this, that like one day, um, if they're just not green that day, or they've got low green that day, I've seen people who are still stay green, but and I get it. They were probably red at some point during the day and they just stress them out and they just freak out. Okay, you cannot freak out in trading. In trading, you, you've got to know that you're playing it like a video game. You're gonna get shot in the face sometimes in video games. You're gonna shoot your plane down. You're gonna get hit by anti-aircraft, like all that type of stuff in game in the same thing that we're doing here or in business. You don't know when the foot traffic is gonna come through your door, but when it comes through the door, you need to prepare to execute. Okay? When you sit down at your desk, you need to stay mentally at a neutral location of you're excited to see what opportunities come, but if they're not there, look, it's not your job to make anything happen. It's like your job is to sit there at that desk and react if X, Y, or Z happens. I almost use the analogy like a security guard, right? Think about a security jar, guard job, right? I actually think if uh, maybe if I weren't doing this and I had some other job position, I think I might want to be a security guard. I feel like there's a lot of sitting around and a lot of think time. I feel like I could probably train myself to do a whole lot of cool things. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. I don't want to diss on them, but I think they sit around and they sit there and watch video cameras all day waiting for something to happen think about that sit down at your desk like a security guard okay this is the other point i want you to write it down so, right so write that down sit at your desk like your security guard you are looking at your screens and you are going to react if you see somebody i don't know trying to <laughs> trying to i guess now here's where the analogy ends okay somebody's trying to shoplift or somebody's trying to break into the front doors okay and you got to go and you know do some things and this is where the analogy stops but you don't want somebody robbing you okay you you don't want to go out there and just give your money away now again your money isn't in play until you press the buttons okay so anyhow i want you to sit at your desk and go okay if something occurs if something's on the move if something's going today great which is why we have what we've got our timer right 60 to 90 minutes is all the time that you're going to get and you got one uh trades one through five plus a bonus trade okay you're going to sit down and if you get the opportunities you take them if you don't that's okay too okay because again the days that are hot on those days like a thursday like a wednesday like a friday where the market is super hot in a short period of time you can make way more you can make your entire month's pay in a single day here you can make your entire quarter quarters pay in a single day you can make your entire year's pay in a single day on days where the markets are moving keep that in mind you do not have to press the button okay you're a security guard you're acting when the system um when the, when the setups hit and you get okay um 
that's really all I want to cover here tonight. This is, you know, very important information. Um, hang tight here for a minute. I'm going to tell you guys about the Father's Day special that we are doing. Again, I'm a dad. I'm about to have another baby. I got three. I got one on the way. You're going to be a you know, father of four. I'm super excited. So I'm taking the Father's Day opportunity to give you guys a gift and celebrate with me. I am going to put a 43-inch monitor in your hands if you are signing up during this week all the way through Sunday. Uh, Father's Day comes on Sunday this week. So I'm going to hook you up with a 43-inch monitor and I'm going to give you the Black Friday discount offer. So if you're interested in joining with us, that is a lifetime opportunity. It is lifetime access and all the upgrades and all the bells and whistles for the gold package. If you guys got questions around that, you can check out the website on the pricing page. And of course, hit me up on Discord if you would like to take me up on that offer because I don't post those on the website. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a good one. I will catch you guys in the morning. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis, G, and the rest of the gang, I am sitting out that big H-Tune.